Hello and welcome to our sixth session. And in this session, we are first going to concentrate on debugging our issue with our application. So, in the previous session, once we had set up the Tailwind CSS and started to work on the navigation bar, we came to know that these Tailwind CSS classes are not working in our application. So, we came to know it only after we started to construct the nav bar. And the problem we are facing is, when I have installed Beat, I am not finding this Tailwind CSS, it is not getting implemented. What is the solution? So, let us search for the solution together. I have opened the browser, I will come here and I am just going to type Tailwind CSS not working with white. It is showing me the option and when I click on this, you have first a stack overflow link. Normally, this is the preferred link where you will find the because someone else would have faced the same problem and he would have posted a question in Stack Overflow and someone else would have found a solution and he would have answered it. Either I can use Stack Overflow, but in this case, Tailwind CSS itself, the software program uh, company itself has come out with a solution. Install Tailwind CSS with Wheat you have a link. When I click on this, this is going to open here and in this case, see in the terminal when you are typing, it is saying that after I install the, after I initiate it with, with this, I have already done, I have initiated it and when it comes to installing the Tailwind CSS, what we had done it, we had just typed npm install slash d tailwind css we had typed only this part but what this site is saying is it is asking us to add another post css auto prefixer i have to add a fix to this so now what i will do is uh, hyphen d to tailwind css i will select this part i will copy this now i will come to visual studio code i will come here to my terminal, press Ctrl C to quit the application that is already running. Now here, I am now going to type npm install double hyphen legacy then peer depths. I will add this line and then I will right click here and when I right click, you can see this command has been posted. So, that is hyphen D, tailwind CSS, post CSS, auto prefixer. Now, after I post this, I will press enter and as soon as I press enter, you can now see this post CSS auto prefixer has been installed. It is telling me to run this npx tailwind init p. I have to run this. I will copy this. I will come back to Visual Studio Code, right click, this gets pasted, I will now press enter and this is now going to install and while it, as soon as this installation happens, if you come to your folder, along with this tailwind config.cjs, you have another file created here, postcssconfig.js, you can see this file also created here. I have another tailwindconfig.js, a new file created. I will select this tailwind.config.cjs file. I will press Ctrl A, copy all the code from this. I will come to tailwindconfig.js and even in this, I am going to paste it. So, I am going to, for safer side, I am maintaining both the .js file and cjs file. And along with this, you have got this post CSS config.js file also. I will go to file and choose save to save everything. See that all files are now saved. And then now, if I come here and type npm run dev, and if I execute it, and now if you come to the site, now you can see that your logo and this bar is created perfectly well. And now after setting this, so 
once I have run it, you can see this one running and I will resize this and adjust the size like before. And the next thing I want to do is, see here you can see the name of my site is appearing as white plus uh, wheat plus react and you are seeing the wheat logo. I doesn't want wheat logo here. I want my logo to come over here and I want this title to be Sudindra SG's profile page or Sudindra SG resume or your name resume. So how are we going to change this? So for this, I will come to the, that is I will close this uh, asset source and if you in the root of Satvik underscore 3D profile, you have one index.html. And when I come to this index.html, here you can see I will change this type wheat plus react. Instead of that, I am going to type here Sudindra SG profile and I will save it. So once I save it, you can see the title here became Sudindra SG profile. And now I want to change this logo. So for this, what I am going to do is instead of using wheat dot svg over here here you have this weed dot svg and instead of this instead of weed dot svg here i will select this and replace it with logo dot svg or your own file and once i do this and if i save this see here the logo also change to your icon so i will close all the other files over here which i don't want to use it i will come back to navbar.jsx after making our changes in index.html i will come here and in this case now i want to uh, next to the logo i want to add my name and for this below the image we have added this image tag press enter and i am going to add a p tag P tag is paragraph tag and in that I am going to type Sudindra SG and if I save this now you can see your name Sudindra SG is appearing over here and apart from this I am also going to add span uh, that is uh, tag I have used span tag and inside the span tag I will uh, just add above the right hand enter button you have one button with if you press that uh, you see backslash if I press shift and press that you get this line I will press a space and the next thing I am going to type is a human touch to technology I am going to type this after this and I will save it so now you can see I am seeing this I will just give a space extra space here and if I save this, see I am seeing Sudindra SG, a human touch to technology. And let us beautify this by adding some classes to these two uh, tags. Now here for this P tag, I will come inside this P tag and again I am going to call the class name and the classes that I am going to allot to it is, again all this comes from Tailwind CSS, I will now type text dash white so i am going to make the text color white then i will press enter and after text white i am going to set the text hyphen and in open close square bracket i am going to type 18 px means 18 pixel close the flower bracket so i have set its size to 18 pixel the text size then i am going to set its font to bold and after this, I will press enter and finally, I am going to change its cursor to pointer. So, I am going to add these four classes, text white, text 18 pixels, font bold and cursor pointer. Uh, to make it appear better, I will come to view and choose word wrap so that I am going to see it below it. Now, I will go to file and choose save. And now if you come and see here, see this part has become bold and when I scroll the mouse over here, see this becomes a pointer. And similarly, I will come into this pan uh, tag and here I am going to again call some class name. 
and the class we apply for this human uh, touch to technology is I will type SM and I am going to use colon and then I am going to type block and SM block and I am going to set this to hidden. Why I am adding this is so that when you see on the mobile, you will see only Sudhindra SG and human touch to technology will be hidden. So, if I save this file now and if I come here, see now you have this human touch to technology coming down and when I drag it, it is already on the uh, ground and if, when I reduce the size on a mobile, see that disappears. Whereas on a regular desktop, you are going to see like this. Now, the next job I am going to do is coming down below this link. I am now going to come below this link and I am now going to uh, add an unordered list UL tag and I am going to close it with greater arrow and in this UL tag again for this UL tag I will press enter. So, we are going to fill this later and in UL tag again I am going to call some classes. The class that I am going to call here is the first one is list none and next is hidden and next is on small mobile that is small devices colon I am going to call flex on small devices it will be flex press space and on regular devices flex row and then I am going to set its gap to 10 and after this I will save it and here I have accidentally this uh, uh, console window is closed. I will come here right click and choose inspect so that I have this console window open and in console see keep monitoring for any errors also here. Right now there is no error. Now coming inside this UL, now coming inside this unordered list. Now the very first thing is I am going to call here, I will open flower brackets and inside the flower brackets now I am going to call this nav links and in this nav links I am going to map it. This is a Java function that we are going to this is like a loop like function. We are going to call this map and this map actually I will open and close. I will use a open and close parent bracket and inside this bracket I am going to write a function and again I will create one more open close brackets and inside this bracket I am going to type link because link is the parameter we are going to give. Uh, I, what I will do is I will make this L capital ok. Link is the parameter we are going to give and uh, equals greater than JavaScript and I will press space and I will open close a flower bracket and inside this flower bracket I am going to create a list item. I am going to call a list item and this inside this list item what we are going to do is I am going to add an anchor tag and once I add this anchor tag in this anchor tag the content that I am going to have is in flower brackets I am going to now type nav.title and close it with the flower bracket and then in a I will press space and the href to this anchor tag I am going to give is will be equal to again I will add the flower bracket and inside the flower bracket I am now going to use the hashtag and then the dollar sign and then I am going to now open and close a flower bracket and inside this flower bracket I am now going to call nav id and now if I, I am going to do this and now you can see here this nav is shown in underline and it is saying that there is some error over here there is an error here and the error that we are seeing here is actually this entire nav id whatever I have written here I have to select this entire thing 
and I have to enclose it in a inverted comma. Okay. So, that is why I was seeing the error. See, now there are no errors. However, there are no syntax errors, but when I save this, see immediately you are going to see an error. So, why am I getting this error? The mistake that we have done is I should not use nav.title and nav.id because see we have declared here the variable as link and I have to use the same parameter name here. I have used nav. So, I have to replace this nav here. I will select this nav and I am going to replace this nav with link and similarly even here I am going to select it and replace it with link. So, I will select both with link and now if I save it. Now, after I have added this, see still we are not seeing the menu here. Now, what is happening is, see actually in our constants, if you come to constant folder and in index.js, we have created nav links as a list and in, ev in the list, every item has an id and title. And now, what here in our, uh, I will close this index.js and here what happens is navlinks.map means it is going to go through the list items one by one and it has to display here, but this is not running, working. Now, the problem that we are facing is here in this navlinks map, when I have added it, like a function, I have used here the curly bracket. See, why I am doing this mistake purposefully and showing you is even one bracket instead of flower bracket, if you put curly bracket, we won't get the result. So, here what I will now do is I will replace this with open close bracket and then uh, I will remove this bracket and then I will select this curly bracket here, I will cut it and here you can see this yellow one, I will select this and paste it. So, I have changed both these brackets to regular brackets instead of flower brackets and now if I save this, immediately you can see about work and contact, you can see it here. You, see, you are seeing it. Actually, I am seeing semicolon also here. The reason is I have added a semicolon here. I will remove this semicolon and save it. Okay, see now, new, now this semicolon is removed. 